Hello everyone, welcome to Driving Production. In today's episode, we'll be taking a closer look at the matte metric floor mats in the Mazda 3. Let's first start this video by talking about the style of these map metrics. So if you go online on their website, which I'll share a link in the description below, you'll see that you have three options for different series. The Cubic series, the Sport series, and the Classic series. The one I chose was the Cubic series. Now on top of that, you have the option of uh, multiple different colors that you can actually get uh, for the uh, top mat on top of the uh, floor liner. So I personally went with a red uh, floor mat to be able to match the Mazda speed seats that are in the car. Now if we take a look at the quality of the product, it's, uh, I can say that uh, the quality is pretty good uh, overall. Uh, it's for sure uh, not real leather, but I mean that's expected. It's a fairly thick product. Uh, if I just take a look at the uh, liner itself, but if you look at uh, the mat too, uh, it's kind of, it's like almost meshed, uh, rubber strained uh, together. And it looks uh, in a way that uh, can absorb the salt and all the dirt so it doesn't stay on top. The rubber on top where the pedal is, is very firm too. Doesn't look like it's gonna rip over long term use. So that's uh, pretty good. The other thing that's uh, re pretty nice too, is that they all come with some tabs that are preset into the, the liner. So you just have to clip them behind the plastic trim of your uh, personal vehicle. If we look at uh, the fitment now, uh, the fitment, I think this is where uh, they kind of fall short a little bit, especially for the price point that they are in. Uh, I mean, it's a little bit nitpicking I find, but it is, uh, that's where I have the biggest issue because like around the, the, the plastic trim, uh, you see that's, it's, that's where it's pulling, especially for a product that's uh, supposed to be laser cut. I find that's where I have a, a little bit of issue, even for the gas pedal. I mean, it's expected that the gas pedal is going to touch the liner before uh, the carpet behind. But uh, let's say you floor the vehicle, I can feel that it touches, it's almost holding back the gas pedal. And I really have to press hard, to really push it all the way to the end. So I think it's little things like that, that uh, for fitment wise, I don't think it's the absolute best, especially for the price point that the matte metrics are. I'd also like to say that they do have very nice fitment in a lot of areas, like the driver's side or in the rear, they tuck very well under the seats. So one thing that I'd like to mention also is the whole story and experience I've had with uh, dealing with Matt Metrics itself. Uh, so unfortunately, there was a few mistakes in the orders uh, when I purchased uh, the Matt Metrics. So I had to deal with customer service a little bit. I have to say that they were pretty good uh, with that. Uh, now, when I first ordered the Matt Metrics, anybody go home. So the nice thing about matte metrics is that uh, you get to pick the color or even the pattern, the design, different series. Um, so when I ordered them, I did pick the uh, uh, black uh, cubic series for the liner itself, the laser cut. So that was right. But I, uh, like I mentioned, I, I chose the red uh, floor mats to kind of contrast and uh, match them as the speed seats that are in the car. Uh, the thing that uh, when I first received the package, uh, they were black. So the mats were black on black, 
which is not a, a, a huge deal. So I co contacted customer service right away. I forgot to mention that I also contacted customer service concerning fitment issues in the back. As you can see in the picture, there was about an inch and a half to two inches gap and that was on both sides. They did resend a new rear liner with much better fitment, but as you can see, it's still not perfect. And then, then they had to put back into production another set of mats and they reshipped them right away. Now when I got the mats, they were red this time, but they weren't for the right vehicle or maybe they, they mistakenly didn't uh, cut them at the right size. I'm not 100% sure on exactly what happened, but they didn't fit the Mazda 3. So they, it, it didn't even look like they were the same mats. So I had to again contact customer service and then again into production. Uh, they had to put those uh, the new mats into production uh, as they mentioned. And then finally uh, about two weeks later I was able to get uh, the mats I have today, the, the red ones. So overall, um, there is a bit of uh, when you receive it, uh, you're kind of excited to get the product and then you're a bit disappointed that it's not correct and having to go back and forth a little bit, that was a bit disappointing. But in the end, uh, I got the mats. They were ver uh, very, uh, I didn't have to argue with them or anything to, to get some new mats. They were straightforward. They sent some new ones and I was e even able to uh, keep the mats uh, that they sent extra. So I have the extra uh, black mats and uh, another set of mats for a different type of car, but it is what it is. In the end, I still got my mats. So overall, the customer service was good, but I think it's still something to consider uh, for the price point of the mats, uh, especially for the um, premium uh, quality that uh, they, they, they tend to refresh themselves and uh, the, uh, the, the kind of branch they're trying to, to reach. So if my only negative points would be a fitment for sure and perhaps maybe uh, they tried to rush a little bit too much or uh, I'm not exactly sure what's happening uh, in the process of making them uh, but uh, that would be me, my only two concern for anybody that's uh, looking to purchase some. Let me know what you think about these mat metrics floor mats in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video please consider subscribing Thank you all for watching this video.